Oh my God, pray for me. Pray for me. Everything is supposed to look a little harsh at the moment. <laughs> I can't. Every time I see myself in the freaking viewfinder, I look, I look insane. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel right now. We are going to do something fun and I think I never did anything like this um, in my channel before. So I'm super excited to be doing this. Um, as you may know, <laughs> we are quarantined. So I have two weeks off from work and I'm super excited. And I'm just going to keep busting out videos um, for you guys. <laughs> so this video is going to be me following a Scott Barnes tutorial so he I think it was a year ago and he did Tati's Westbrook's makeup and honestly I always wanted to do this type of video because I always want to try new techniques when it comes to artistry and makeup um, but I just never had the chance to and it just other things just kept piling up so I was like you know what I have just a new time to be doing all these fun things and I'm gonna start out with this video um, and I hope I learn a few tricks and tips and I could incorporate whatever I learn into what I usually do on a regular basis for myself and even for my clients as well. Let's get started, I'm excited. I always start with contouring. I always start with the dark and then I add the light. It's not about contouring on top of makeup. Sometimes it is, but not usually. So I'm gonna treat you as though we were doing like a video shoot, music video or something uh, like that. Yeah, you guys, I'm going to sing for you at the end of this. Okay. Okay, so let me just prep my skin first before we do the concealer because he's jumping right into it. So I really didn't prep my skin. I normally do, but I want to do that right now. All right, so my skin is nicely prepped. So let's see what he does. What I like to do with this is to bring it in. And you just use it to like eliminate stuff. And I'm gonna go in ham. Like I'm Wait, gonna use yes, makeup. I like I'm not gonna that. pretend like. Just drench me. My skin eats makeup. Like yeah. it really does. So I'm gonna use my Fenty concealer in the shade 300. And we're like Scott said, we're going ham with the concealer. I'm not gonna put any primer because I believe in the video he says he doesn't believe in primer. So, so what he did is that he kind of started off like here. I keep going ham and kind of just bring it outwards. Like he bring it all the way down here. want to bring it here okay let's see what he did after that let's, let's talk about ours for a second we're going to talk about jennifer jennifer calls us a cat paw oh. okay so he kind of brings some over here as well bring some lightness into the skin okay and then he kind of just brings that color down here So he said he brings the light all the way up to the edge. So we're gonna do that. And I normally never uh, contour my nose. I usually just not do it. So me just doing this is, we have to see how it's gonna work out. Okay, so he used a flat brush. Let's see if I have anything like that here. So I do, I have a MAC 190 brush. And he starts to kind of blend out. Like a cat paw. Like, so anyway, tap it. Um, what I like to do with it is just kind of blend it out. And just work it into the skin. Now I'm starting. Okay, so he kind of just tap it into the skin first. 
and kind of just blend everything out. So he's starting out with the contour here. I don't think he con I don't think he did anything with the Smashed. nose contour. So this um, is what I call Oh my god. I you. think I look crazy. Ah, am I doing this right? Oh my god. He's going in with the contour. So I am gonna go in with my MAC uh, Stu Studio Fix Matte Foundation Stick in the color N. 50 so he kind of just starts to contour all over here so we're just that's what we're gonna do i hope it's dark enough oh you named this look yeah it's called snatural snatural it's <gasps> smashed but natural i love that yes. so much it's kind of oh like glowy and hoey <laughs> yes where's your merch you need some <laughs> she's pretty she looks natural but a little bit more so she's natural and then he took a brush, it's sort of like a flat brush with angles. Let me see. I think I'm going to go with this brush right here. It has like a flat top to it and I love this brush. So he's just bringing it down and kind of just dragging it downward. So that's what we're going to be doing. Oh my god, I don't know where I'm going with this, but oh my god, pray for me, pray for me. Everything is supposed to look a little harsh at the moment. <laughs> I can't. Every time I see myself in the freaking viewfinder, I look, I look insane. <laughs> oh my god. Mm, this video could be great, or this video could uh. Could be bad. We'll see. But this brush is amazing. This brush is from um, Elf. Um, it is their. Oh, well, this is their blending brush, and I absolutely love it. Um, it's only six dollars, six or eight dollars, and it's like amazing. Now he is going to contour the nose. So he kind of used an angled brush. Um, let's see if I could find something similar to that. It's angled and flat. This is from NYX and that's their angled, uh, angled brush. It's double handed. It looks similar to the brush that he's using. So let's see. Let's see what he's going to do with this. Okay. They over contour and then they drag all this brown into the nose. 
and into the side of the face. And then they just face turn it later, which is saying. Which is which is an issue. Now the trick to having a fuller lip is Okay. So he kind of just dragged a little downwards. So let's go. I switched out the contour I was using at first. I started out with the MAC contour, um, con um, contouring stick in NW50, but it wasn't dark enough, I felt like. So I switched to my NYX HD Studio uh, concealer in the color 8.6. So I'm just tapping some out of here, out of this, and I'm kind of just putting that right in the center, going down. The So this is the nose contour. <sighs> okay, let's see what else he's gonna do. I think he's moving on to the lips. Not overlining it to that. Okay, I'm decided I'm gonna use some. Okay. So he kind of just overlined uh, the lip area with the bronzing or the contouring color. So that's what we're going to do. I usually do that, but with after I finish applying my makeup and um, with a lip pencil. <laughs> so we're going to try this technique. Okay. All right. All right. Girl. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this video. I really cannot. Okay. So he's moving on to foundation. So I'm going to use the foundation I normally use, which is my NYX Born to Glow foundation in the color Almond. Um, let's see what type of brush he used to blend everything out. I've decided I'm going to use some Chanel on you. Ready? Oh! Okay, so he started off with right her up. chest first. This is so relaxing, you guys. I usually sit here and I... He started off with her, ch her chest first. We are not doing any makeup in the chest, just solely on the face. So let's see what... <laughs> I can't even take myself seriously right now. You have no idea. Good. I miss doing that show, actually. So, oh my gosh, you guys. I've seen a lot of shows in Vegas. Okay, so he used a stippling brush. Let's see if I have anything like that. I have a stippling brush from MAC, which is this right here, and he kind of just buff it into the skin. Killed it. I was looking at the makeup, and I'm like, that is so Scott's makeup. Like, that is just... Yeah, so I'm going to do, like, a little bit, like, what... This is, like, you know, like I said, we're doing this for TV and for stage, like, for, like, a music there video. There is a difference, because you have... Okay, so he kind of just blend out the bottom part first so that's what we're gonna do I take some in my hand right here that's gonna stipple some here and then let's start kind of just starts to buff out everything then I'm taking more of that product and then he goes into the forehead first and kind of just blends in that foundation and just go all over the forehead with that And it's almost like he's kind of just flicking it upwards while he's doing that. Okay, so he just used a, a lighter foundation on the center. I noticed he used a smaller uh, stippling brush to apply that. So that's what we're going to be doing. It's just applying that on the lighter part of the face. 
and he said he doesn't want to lose that contour that we see here so I, I almost see him kind of going back between the big the bigger stippling brush and the smaller one so that's what we're going to be doing just do the, the contour under and then you do it's okay. everything like you know, listen, I worked with light and dark painting. <laughs> you got this white hand. Oh my god, we're putting those away. I need to spray tan. Oh my god. But if you don't have time for a spray tan, you can always use body blank. Oh, tell me more. And he takes the lighter foundation and kind of just stipple the contour. Okay. Fascinating. I'm kind of getting impressed right now. Okay, so he's using a cream blush. And I recently bought a cream blush from Charlotte, which is their Pink Gasm, which is this, which I love. Um, and I think he, he continues to use the same brush to add the lighter. Oh, let me turn it on. What I like about this is that it turns on and off, so you could turn it off and it won't do any spilling, and then you turn it on every time you want to use it, which is nice. So he pretty much put it in the apples of her cheeks, so we're going to do that. Now he takes the pressed powder and kind of just sets in the center and then the eye. I don't believe he even used a primer, which is very odd, but he's the professional. He's been doing this for years, so I'm just going to follow everything. Let's see. And he kind of just sets all over the center so of the face. I'm using petals. She's a little translucent with a tiny tinge of pink in her. And what that does is cancels out any kind of like little purpley stuff on her okay so he says that it's like a translucent powder with a little bit of a tint to it I don't like using trans uh, translucent powder like on me so I'm gonna use this one this is like a nice brightening uh, yellowy powder from uh, Laura Mercier and I am in the color 4w2 It's a little lighter than my skin tone and I'm just gonna press it on the center of my face think that would be appropriate. Oh, oh, they actually had sent me some stuff and they're like an indie brand with a lot of cool products actually. I use them Ooh. a lot for highlighters. Love that. Right. Yeah. He just puts this in the center of the face and he also puts it in the eyes as well. Okay, okay. Okay, Scott. All right, so how am I looking, guys? Okay, so he goes in with highlight. So the highlight we're gonna use is um, from Jaclyn Hill in the color Amped. And he kind of just swirls it into her cheekbones. 
So I'm gonna use the brush that I normally would use to kind of just apply my Do you remember Made in Manhattan? Let's talk about that for a second. Who doesn't love that movie? <laughs> <laughs> so, remember the beauty scene when she becomes Cinderella? Yes. Remember the makeup? Yes. The shimmery highlighted. This is really basically what I did with it and threw a lash on and a peach lip because I wanted her to look like herself. He kind of just takes a brush and kind of just blends everything out, kind of fluff it a little bit just to marry everything together. Okay. Okay, he still didn't do her brows yet, not that I noticed. He's going to the lips. So he's putting a brown, and I'm gonna use my favorite brown liner at the moment. It's a color pencil from um, Morphe, and it's called Vibes, and I'm just gonna outline the lips a little. I think I'm gonna go in with my artist tour and the color climax. He really didn't do much with the gloss, with the lips. Tip alert, you know what I'm doing? Oh, okay, so he kinda just tip it upward. I guess to blend out the edges. So he is doing brows. Now, for my brows, it's pretty much very sparse. I'm gonna do my brows off camera and then I'll come back um, to finish off the rest of the face. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I did my brows. He didn't really shape her brows out and I really wanna do it, but um, I'm not. Oh, it looks pretty fluffy, I apologize but he didn't do it. That's which I find very strange. Um, but I will guess I'll just leave it like that, I guess, cause I could, whatever. So he's going on with the eyes at the moment. But I think I'm just gonna use my Jaclyn Hill palette because this palette has a lot of uh, plums. So he just goes into a circular motions back and forth. Get a lot of which I normally do on my eye shape. So I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush. and put it underneath the eye so we're gonna do the same I'm gonna go back in with the Jaclyn Hill um, highlighter I'm going to put that in the eyes he kind of just um, tap it with his hands first all over the lid so we're gonna do that Okay guys, so this is how the makeup turned out. 
as I was putting my lashes on I noticed that he added a deeper color on the lower lash line right here so I decided to do black just to give it like a nice little sultry type vibe in the video she used dark brown but I kind of just wanted to use black just to give me like this really nice you know going out type look i learned a lot from this video from watching him and i will incorporate some of the stuff that he used i cannot believe he doesn't use primer i do not believe he even sets the face like i was it took me like i literally reached out for um the setting spray i was just like oh Oh, he didn't use a setting spray. Let me not use it. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate it. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. Thumbs this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Do your thing. Um, and I will see you in a few days with another video. Bye, guys. <laughs>